Time now as Liberty hits the offseason to kind of recap some of the offense and look ahead to next year with head coach Turner Gill. And first and foremost, coach, the quarterback position, it's going to be all different with uh, your captain, your right. four-year starter, Josh Woodrum, graduating. So how excited are you uh, to kind of look back at what he did, but also give opportunities for guys like Stefan Mosh and some other guys coming in the fold? I'm excited uh, for Josh. Uh, I'm excited for him from the purpose of that he did so many great things for us on the field and off the field. And I'm also excited for him because I think he's going to have a very solid future, uh, continue to play some football there. Who knows where, what team in the NFL, but I think he's going to have a great shot at that. Stefan Masha, I know he's uh, chomping at the bit. Uh, as for trying to get an opportunity to, to play a lot more plays. So he's a very talented young guy. He's been patient. Uh, he's been a team player. Uh, so I do appreciate uh, how he's gone about his business, and I know he's going to be ready to play. Another player who's been patient, Todd Macon. He kind of goes to number one now on the depth chart. Frankie Hickson's also in the mix there. So compare those two runners and what we might see from them next year. Well, I think, uh, you know, those two guys, Macon uh, has played, uh, you know, been in the mix quite a bit, at least been in playing. He has a tough runner, uh, has good vision, uh, knows how to handle the things that he needs to do as far as blocking. Um, I, I really like what he's all about. Now, Frankie Hickson, uh, a little different type of runner. Uh, a guy has quickness, has speed. Uh, you may call him a little bit of a jitterbug type of guy because he has good feet and good quickness, but he also can run over you too. So he has a little bit more punch in him, even though he is a little bit uh, a short in stature. How about Buddy Edwards, who we like to call the bulldozer? We are so pumped up about him and what he can do from a versatility standpoint, not just him, but mm -hmm. Tom Kennedy as well. So do you see that fullback position evolving as those guys improve? We're solid there. I feel good about both guys. Tom Kennedy has been uh, done a great job here as uh, playing his role like he needs to play it. Buddy Edwards came in and uh, didn't have a whole lot of playing time early on, and then we kind of saw a role that we wanted to implement for him, uh, and he did a good job of that. Uh, short yardage type of guy, uh, definitely converted on all those things, and he carried some people in there, so I know that's why he gave him the bulldozer because he was carrying the big uh, sand pit or whatever around <laughs> all over the place on the football field. So he did a great job for us, and we know he's going to continue to get better. B.J. Farrow ready to get the torch passed to him? Yeah, he, uh, he, he's, he got better and better every week. Uh, I love the, what he's all about. He can block well. He can catch the ball well. He can make plays. Uh, and he's a leader. He's a quiet leader. Uh, yeah. Again, he's only been here for one year. But uh, he, 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 I got to put the term leader in front of him because uh, I see that quality in him. And so I know I'm excited about him. He's excited about the opportunity and, and be able to make more plays. What's up against this offensive line and the opportunities for some guys to get some more playing time mm -hmm. and to improve? Well, I think the offensive line, I think we're going to be solid. We've got three guys coming back there. Uh, Aaron Camels has uh, been in the mix there, too. Now we're going to find some young guys. Uh, we had the transfer from Wake Forest there. Will Smith is going to be able to come in and help yep. us out, probably start him out over at the left tackle spot, and hopefully he can uh, solidify that position. Uh, we'll find out what we're going to do as far as uh, the other players in the guard, guard and center, you know, Lucas Holder. Uh, I know Dante Duff going to be in the mix there. We got Jeff Fox. Uh, you know, we got a few guys that's going to come in. James Passmore didn't ready to play this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam Isaacson, a guy from LCA, a walk on guy that we feel good about that can play and do some things. So it's going to be a fun thing here because we got a lot of people going to be fighting for some positions. It'll be good to see the spring get here and see what these guys are doing there, Coach. We appreciate the time. Have a great off season, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. All righty. Thank you. To God be the glory. That's head coach of the Flames, Turner Gill. Stay tuned for more coverage of Liberty Football right here at libertyflames.com.